Jay, nothing that happened on November 22nd, 1963 was supposed to happen. They were high school kids who, thought, who never thought the President of the United States could be assassinated, and they weren't supposed to beat San Angelo Central High School, the number one ranked team in the nation. Remember that play, Coach. It's a day that will live on in their memories for the rest of their lives. And there was just a lot of mixed emotions. Hours before the highly anticipated game, an announcement came across the loudspeaker they won't forget. President Kennedy had been assassinated. You didn't really know how to take it at that time because uh, you wanted to play the game, but you also knew there was a lot of turmoil in the nation going on. San Angelo was already en route to Big Spring, so the schools decided to play the game. Teams all over the country were having the same problem because Friday night football was a big uh, issue. The Steers beat San Angelo in decisive fashion, 20 to 6. I don't think the Green Bay Packers could have beat us that night. The team remained close over the years, but while growing older, the memories of that game began to fade. Until this summer, when they were inducted into the Big Spring High School Hall of Fame. We were trying to find a copy of the show there. They have footage of one game against another highly ranked team, but they are hoping someone has the film of the upset of their lives. I mean, it'd be just a special feeling for us to get that, to be able to get that film. And you are not going to believe this, but moments ago, I received a text telling me that they found the film. A Big Spring player contacted a San Angelo player who had that elusive film. I was told by one of the players he's ecstatic and he's trying to put it on YouTube as we speak. As soon as it's posted, we'll let you know and we'll post that on our website, cbs7.com. For now in the studio, Andrew Bovin, CBS 7 News.